Hi, this is Ram from ramkedem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the WHERE clause. Up until this point, we learned how to specify which columns we want to retrieve from the table. In this lesson, we will understand how to restrict the results based on different conditions. Let me show you an example. Let's type the following query. Select customer ID, last name, first name, monthly discount from customers. Now, suppose we want to display only the customers with monthly discount less than 10. Under the from clause, we can say where monthly discount is less than 10. Let's highlight and execute again. This time, as you can see, we retrieved only the customers with monthly discount less than 10. So let's understand the syntax of the WHERE clause. We type WHERE, then the column which our filter is based upon, then an operator, it could be less than, greater than, equal, not equal, etc. And then we type the value we are comparing against. The value can be numeric, as we saw in the last example, it could be a string or it could be a date. So, when dealing with numbers, as we saw, there is nothing special we need to do. Just type the number you are comparing against and that's it. When dealing with strings, on the other hand, there are several guidelines we need to understand. Let's type the following example. Select customer ID last name city from customers, let's say where city equal to Los Angeles. When we are dealing with strings, note that the string value must be enclosed within single quotes. Also, note that in SQL Server, by default, the filter is not case sensitive. As you saw, I typed Los Angeles in capital letters, and although this is not how the data appear in the table, we still filtered the data successfully. So this is how we can filter string values. Now let's see how we can filter date values. Let's type, for example, select customer ID, last name, join date from customers, where join date is greater than let's say 2010 may 24. note that the date values must be enclosed within single quotes and the date format should be year month day this is how we filter date values few important guidelines the value we are comparing against must be of the same type as the column for example, it would not make any sense to say where join date greater than John or join date greater than 67. Both values must be of the same type. If no row meets our filter criteria, we will get zero results, not an error. For example, if we will say something like select last name monthly discount from customers where monthly discount is greater than 1000 as you can see the query simply returned zero results the where clause must be written after the from clause and the from clause must be written after the select clause if you'll try to change the order of clauses for example something like from customers select last name where last name equal to Smith you will get an error one last thing remember that the where clause is optional use it only if you want to restrict the results select and from on the other hand are mandatory 
Okay, so in this lesson, we learned the basics of the where clause, and we saw how we can compare against numbers, strings, and dates. In the upcoming videos, we will dive more into different comparison options. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below, and if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.